Welcome back to Strand Farm, where we grow independent together. Let's go look at the garden. We did fence in the garden. So this morning we need to come over here because the tomatoes... <laughs> Gosh. Because the tomatoes are falling over. And so James is going to help me by putting another brace on this trellis that he built and that way we can have our tomatoes upright again. Yep. And the tomatoes that we need to work on today are these ones because they fall over. They got too big from their line and so they're going up in this way and then they're going this way. So we're going to work on that right now. Put some on my peppers. It's just seaweed. We got seaweed. We can make this stuff, I bet. We can make a better version. Ooh. Ooh. That looks cool. Is that about where you want it? Mm. Yeah. Which end do you want higher? Maybe it could go up. Which one? Both. Yeah, baby. Right there? Yeah. You want me to mark something? Yeah. Well, no, what I want you to do would be to drill in. You want me to drill it in? Yeah. Uh, I'm no expert. It's right there. So we don't need this marker? Not if we, if I can hold it, you can drill what it. What if I can just hold it? Sure, that's, it's, it's a hard lead. You want to try? Yeah. Hoi! Alright, don't let go yet. Alright, let go. That's where you want it? Um, no, this, um, my left side needs to come up a little bit. Okay. Um, I can't actually lift it, I don't think. This is really heavy. Okay, wait. Okay. Maybe. Don't put oh, too much okay. weight on this. Oh, you mean don't be as, uh, Fully Don't be who I am and break furniture. Okay, Whoa. Okay, it needs to be more <laughs> like that, unfortunately. So can we cut that off? Sure. This can be not up. Yeah. Okay. That's how you want it. Yeah. Please be the answer. These tomatoes need help. I think I'm going to transplant a couple pepper plants because they're just, I didn't know this plant, this zucchini was going to get so huge. I didn't bring a hammer. Oh no. It's okay. Can you just use the axe handle? I found something. Something's coming out. <laughs>
really good. I'd say. This is heavier than my hammers. Yeah. And it's got a wider end so you can be a little, a little bit less precise. I like it. Uh -oh. oh dear. <laughs> oh please be the answer. That should hold up a mater and a cuke. Do you think that'll hold up tomatoes, cucumbers, and green beans? Because it's got a half coop. I think vertical is probably the smartest thing, so you can hold yeah, it up. There's a plug on my neck. Ew, it's sick. What was it? Oh, it was a long bug. Ew, it's been there for like an hour. How's that work? That was great. And then you just need to, and then you can just put this foot on it here. Oh, I guess. This, this guy's huge. You guys probably want to see this. It's kind of neat. I've never grown a tomato like this. Let me know in the comments if you have ever grown a twin tomato. So somewhere down here it decided to split in right there. And then it started growing basically identical. Some of the leaf structures are different, but it's basically identical it's and it's huge. <laughs> That's really cool. That's a cool shot because you can see the sun glow in the background where the sun's coming up. Mm. Please don't. Yeah, that's really scary. Yeah, I hope those big ones aren't going to die. Oh, yeah. Yeah, you go ahead. For what? To do your next one. A lot of the birds sound kind of distant right now. Do you notice that? Like, like the, our birds has not woke up yet because the sun's not here. It was way loud earlier. Now we gotta do this one. Have you seen any cucumber beetles over here lately? No. Do you think the lavender helped? Either the lavender helped or all that potash. Yeah. So what happens with that? It goes in the soil and makes the lye in the soil. Like there's like a little bit of lye water that just. I think it's more of like a diatomaceous earth type thing. Like oh, it like a physical, the, like a manual. Yeah, like mechanical. it's just like yeah, it's like acid or oh, really? whatever. It's just. That was awesome. Alkaline. Or the bugs don't like it. Yeah. It's going this way. It's not always going to be fenced in like this. Mm -hmm. You're going to be able to walk around it. Mm -hmm. So this really it almost gives you more options. Mm -hmm. You can tie a bamboo from here to, you know, you can expand mm -hmm. them. So you can do whatever you want. Interesting. But you want to keep that or you want to cut? I'll just keep it. Because once you use it. look at it from this side. Well, I'm going to use it, so. Okay. Beautiful. 
How are they holding up? Very well. They look extremely happy, and it seems like there's better airflow through here, too. Yeah. It's super sturdy, too. Is it? Oh, yeah. It's not going anywhere. And Tomatoes then... Tomatoes for days. And then this tomato, we decided to trellis. Yeah. We're hoping that this guy will make it over to this poplar tree. We'll see what happens. Happy 4th of July from Strand Farm to you and your family. Be sure to subscribe to our free email newsletter. You'll see a link in the description in the description area down below. In fact, we have a new email newsletter coming out tomorrow. Go check it out. Take care.